Hey, speaking of Jackie, his wife's new album was snuck onto uh, Gary's desk. Really? Snuck? A sneak preview. What do you mean wow. snuck? It was like somebody just put it on there. And who would that somebody be? The Skull D's. Was it you, wow. Jackie? This is the one Jackie paid for. Another another, another Jackie finance. Did you see that cover? I brought that in for oh KC goodness. for some bit they're doing. No, no, no. This is uh, this oh. was left by their manager. Oh. oh. You know who their manager is? Who? Some guy used to intern for us. Who? who, who, who. That's not from KC? That's got to no. be from KC. No, look. There's the manager's card right on there, bro. Oh, the manager's card is in there, but that's from <coughs> Who's KC. the manager? What's the name? Uh, Robert Findlay. Is that right, Jackie? Yeah. And what was he, an intern here, and then Nancy made him a manager? Yeah, I'm sure he was an intern five years ago. Yeah. I, I thought you were going to say it was Siobhan. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, ex-interns that don't make millions of dollars also. Mm -hmm. Millions of dollars. He ain't one of them. <laughs> The core, I'm reading the uh, liner notes. The core of the group remains Nancy and Jack. And like they have a history. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, Nancy Siriani and Jack Hoffman. Nancy Siriani is Jackie's wife. With still, you know, she's like our age, and she still thinks she's going to be a big star. Group. Nancy Siriani and Jack Hoffman have been kicking around the music industry for some time now. No, kicking they around. We kicking around they've Jackie's been house. Listening to music like everybody. Yeah, else. they've been kicking around. <laughs> Working hard a long time. <laughs> yeah, but working hard to make it. Around any oh. music industry. Maybe at what point do they decide they, it's enough kicking and like it's time to retire? The music industry must be Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> Did you think that if, that if they've been kicking around this long, they could finance their own CD? Kicking around the music industry. Locally, they began to draw attention for themselves under the name All Folked Up. After a personnel change, they became Big Orange Marble. Look at this shakeup. Wow. The uh, Beatles didn't have this no. many breakups. And then enjoyed success on a slightly more national level. Yeah, that meant I played the record. Wow. With their album charting here and there on college radio CMJ charts. Uh, you know, that's not true. Wow. Here and there. <laughs> the two have now assembled a lineup of competent musicians to collaborate with and are calling themselves, rather cryptically, the Scoldies. Kufa. <laughs> cryptically. That's because nobody cares. I don't cares. even know what Scoldies means cryptically. Right. It's a terrible name. With a new identity and an album's worth of new material in the works, the Scoldies seem poised to finally make a significant dent. In what? Stop reading. In Jackie's wallet? And let's listen to the music. Oh. In your head, man. <laughs> the current lineup featuring bassist Ted Rydzewski. <laughs> Rydzewski. That's a whopper. <laughs> How do you say that? Ted <laughs> Rydzewski. Is there a vowel in there? <laughs> Night chart. <laughs> R Y D Z E W S K I, Rydzewski. Ted Rydzewski, percussionist guitarist John Collis, and percussionist Eddie Paltier know what they want to express and have no difficulty doing so. Rydzewski is an expressive bass player with an impressive command over his instrument, which leaves no doubt as to why Nancy and Jack have worked with him since the days of All Folked Up. So Nancy and Jack are the leaders. Yeah, the, wow. these other guys are just hired wow. hands. Yeah. Wow. Well, hey, Nancy should be the leader. Jackie pays for everything. That's true. Uh, she does have the wow. uh, the clout. She's the one financing all this. I think Jackie should be the leader of the group. The CD isn't out yet, and I think it sucks that uh, Casey gave you this. Casey didn't. He absolutely did. No, he didn't. Gary gave it to me. I brought it in and gave it to KC so they could do it. Oh, so you don't want me to play any of it? I don't think she wants it played until it's available. Cause it's... So I'll play it when it's available again. What, you mean to tell me your wife thinks that would hurt if I... if I, I, I Like some no advanced idea. publicity would no hurt. Is it, is it not the... You know, are these rough cuts? I, I don't know. I don't know. Why would you bring it in? Because... <laughs> I think it sucks. Like it's going to make a difference. Like these guys really live under the delusion. Yeah. Like this is being this is like, like important music, and it's going to be. Stones and, yeah. and the record oh, shut the radio yeah, station. You are not angry I'm not if somebody gets it first. You are crazy, Jackie. Or maybe I am. You're as crazy as they are. It should he, all be no, locked no, no. up. He's crazier. I think it sucks. It sucks that the only person who's ever going to pay attention to this is me. Remember that. Hey, suppose it's really, really good and it creates a yeah. buzz, you wacko. <laughs> it, because he knows that ain't happening either. <laughs> Collis was responsible for co-writing two of the best songs in the evening set, during which he displayed some elegantly executed acoustic guitar chops. Who wrote hmm. this? I don't know. Sounds like 
I like Nancy. They wrote it. Yeah. I'm a boy, right? <laughs> the core of the group remains Nancy and Jack. Well, all these other guys are so great. What do they do? In spite of their strong backup, these two could have held the audience's interest on their own if they called to do so. Both are impressive songwriters who deftly balance catchy melodies and clever lyrics. What is it, Casey? Hey, Howard, I know how that got there. How? Um, what's happened is that's being sent to, a to uh, ACN. Oh. Oh, and I see. I, it must have been just sitting around there. Oh, I see. So it's supposed to be in the mail, so i got to take it from you. Okay. So you never sent it yet? No. No, because uh, This is the thing you needed urgently? Yeah. Four days ago? Two days ago. Okay. Why isn't it sent out? What? Why don't you send it out? Why is it lying around? Because I had to... I gave it to somebody, and then I found out today where it was. <laughs> I figured it out. What? <laughs> what is going on? I found, I found two things on my desk this morning. One of them was some drops of Jackie. It's for a bit that we're doing. Yeah. I guess we needed that for the bit. Right. But I didn't know what it was. Oh. And it was just in where I keep my mail. Right. And I didn't know what it was, so... Hmm. I assumed that the manager had left it, so now I know what it is. Oh, That's okay. Got here. All right, well, if you tell me I'm not supposed to play it, I won't. I, I have no idea. No, Jackie, I genuinely didn't know what it was. I thought the manager dropped it off because I saw his card in the back. Of particular note are their vocal harmonies, each complementing the other perfectly when singing their individual songs. In fact, Nancy's voice seems to get stronger when she's backing up Jack as if having the burden of front person lifted from her leaves her free to soar vocally. No, I got to hear this. I don't care. Come on. I got to hear this. I, I, no. I can't get over the running of the office. Get out of here, Casey. No, I was going to tell you what happened. So yesterday, I gave it to somebody to send out, and then I called, mm. and I was supposed to send it out. Wait, what It happened? doesn't even make any sense. Is this a live album, Jackie? Because look what it says in the next sentence. The audience tonight, which included for a brief moment Richie Sambora. This is a review of the band. I see. It's was certainly treated to an entertaining performance, and it shouldn't be long before the Scoldies are invited to return to the bitter end. Oh, I see. Scott Kutchler wrote this. Oh. Hmm. Is he in, a, is he in an institution or, or is he yeah, a he legitimate writes with reporter? A thing, hey, a thing between his toes. Howard? <laughs> yeah. That name you just mentioned? Yeah. That's a different ex intern. Oh. And they're not in cahoots either. Just don't have a Oh, so all the interns. Ex -interns. Well, sorry, Gar? I said it just happens to be coincidence that they're two different ex interns. Oh. So the ex intern is a manager and the, the other ex intern wrote the review of their album. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> it's an all intern production. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You don't think you, you don't think she'd want me to play this? Of course she would. I don't understand. Why? Jack, well, Jackie, you just got. I don't want to bum her out. You know, like Bush will put out the single long before the album is available. I know. Jackie. Yeah, but he doesn't know anything about the music business, even though he's had a wife who's well, kicking around I know, in it. I will admit I know nothing about. The I can't see how it hurts playing something from She's it. She's been kicking around the music industry. Please, Jackie, let me play a little. Please. Don't ask me. Ask her. Well, I don't have her number. We don't want to wake her up. Go wake up the lead singer of the Scaldies. Yeah, you know she's got to do something tonight, doesn't she? Just hear. Let me just hear a little bit. Just let's, let me t t tickle my ass with a feather. <laughs> All right, that's all I needed. <laughs> What'd that cost you? <laughs> hey, dude, I'm just trying to help you. You're the one who put all the money into this. You want to hear it, don't you? Want to yeah. hear where your money went? Howard, do you want me to call uh, the lead singer of the Scaldies? Yeah, ask okay. her if it's all right. Oh, God. All right. That'll Maybe be a whole negotiation. Talk to her. No, nah, I don't want That's all right. If she says no, I can live with it. Yeah, don't call her up. She's got a gig today. Oh. See? I told you. You can't end Don't call her up, Jack. She says don't. She's got to rest her voice. Yeah. She's got a big night. This is, so where is she playing? At the bottom line. Very good. There's her plug. This is what she'll be hearing. I can't get to work on time. She must be singing about Jack. <laughs> this is a song about Jack. Set my clock for 705. That's why. All right, I heard enough. That's it. That's all I wanted. I think it sounds great. Oh, are you kidding? That's fabulous. What do you know? Ah, it's fabulous. <laughs> I think that's going to be huge, this song. Is that the single, Jackie? It is? No, I have no idea. <laughs> he doesn't know. He just pays. He just, I don't know. What's the checkbook? He's just the faucet. Mm. 
Too much until Jackie wakes up and starts resenting the money. You know, me, he resents. No, 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 no. Resenting no. you to resent. If he started to get in touch with all his anger and place it where it belongs. Oh, right. shut up. Stop. Forget oh, about it. Oh, wait. The star of the Skaldies is on. Oh, Nancy. Don't be like don't a hire nuclear bomb. Assistant. Nancy? Yeah, whoa. What are you making fun of me? Who woke no. you up? Who woke you up? Usual. Who woke you up? Stuttering John. Why did you do that, John? We said don't wake her up. We told him in the middle of the call when you said no, and she picked up. Oh. So what are you? What are you playing? You playing the the CD that I? Yeah, well, I went to permission because uh, Jackie says it's not ready. It's not ready. Yeah, I guess it's ready enough. (laughs) See? See? Go away, Jackie. He's stupid. Hey, Nance. What? I'll give you a plug. What are you playing tonight? Bottom line? I'm playing at the bottom line tonight, and we're opening for Dan Hicks tomorrow night. Right. Dan Hicks and his hot licks? Yeah, in Massapequa, a place called Clearwater. I can't believe he's still around. Cool. Yeah. That guy was good. Dan Hicks and his hot licks, I remember that guy. He's been knocking around the music industry. For- he's no, been that's knocking Nancy. around. Yeah. <laughs> the current phrase. <laughs> Nancy, the you- bottom line tonight thing is um, toasted by Matt Griffin. Okay. Oh. oh. Yeah, she's a big fan of theirs. Yeah. She is turned she? she turned me on to Dan Hicks and his hot licks. No, actually. I meant the Skull D's. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what about not the skull D's if Dan Hicks and his hot legs. So what'd you play? I'm in the middle of uh, playing your new single. Which one? She you think have a single. I don't know what the name is. Here, what's the name I of this one? I can't get to work, to work on time. Is the first oh, my pathetic life, okay. My yeah, pathetic that's, life. That's actually the name of the album. Hmm. Oh. I can't wake up. Oh. I can't get to work by ten. What's the story? The the you have an ex intern managing. What do you do? You get up whenever you want. I, that's right. I own my own business and I can do whatever right. I want. I get to choose which eighteen hours a day I work. When you say eighteen hours a day of work, quote that's unquote just, work, Howard, that's a saying when you own your own business. Yeah, but then, I get. I'm but there's no pressure. I get to choose which eighteen hours a day I work. There's no I work pressure on you. But there's no pressure on you. It's like you know what? If you didn't show up for three weeks, you know what? It'd be fun. You know what? Jackie goes to work and he writes jokes. And yeah. He comes home and he doesn't have any pressure. I have paperwork. There's tons of pressure. But, uh. There's tons of pressure. If he, let me tell you something. The day Jackie stops being funny for me, I love Jackie. I think he's a great guy. He's gone. So? What is that? Threat? You're not gone. No, he knows it, though. That's the same with me. If I stop getting ratings, you think Mel's going to keep me around because he likes me? Mel hates me. You know what? I'm running the business that sells our mail order products. And yeah. when Jackie's no longer on the show, right. we still no- have a mail order business. No, you won't. No, we won't. No. Oh, why is that? Because no one's going to care. Really? And let's say let's say they do care. So let's say the mail order business. What do you get? Like, I think you. You, you, know, so you have to send out packages. You could hire somebody to do that. How much money do you think you deserve for sending out packages? Don't get and don't get insulted. Is that what? So everybody out there that runs a mail order business. No, I'm talking about your mail order business. They lick a stamp and they put it on no. the package. The mail order business is this. Jackie comes on the show. I do the plugs and people order stuff. So, they, so they, right. people who run a mail order business have to go out and figure out how to promote it. They have to figure out how to sell the items. They have to figure out how to distinguish themselves. And then what? I take care of all and that. And then what? And then they put in the mail. Oh, really? They hire a guy to do that. You know, 15 how bucks an hour. Naivety is unbelievable. What I'm saying is how much money do you think you're entitled for, like, getting up and hanging out at the house and sending out a few packages? I that's work I mean, my know, ass off. You don't not, know what you're talking about. Uh, going it, to the radio show, Howard, to no. have a ball with it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Don't get, now you're getting you all, do not know what you're talking about. Why does every? Why do women always get upset when you ask them stuff? I'm what? staying out of this. What are you talking about? This has nothing to do with my being a woman. Why, I why is it? I work my ass off. No, I Jackie works his ass off. What? Jackie works his ass off. I work my ass off. I work as hard as you. All right, let's say you weren't married to Jackie. I work as hard as you. Oh, can I ask you a question? What? Let's say you weren't married. There's no way you work as hard as me, and I'll that, tell you why. That's not true. You don't have the pressure that's, on you that I true. do. That's not true. I work absolutely no. as hard as you. No way. You don't because you're in a non-pressure situation. It's different. I am in a pressure filled job. What is the but pressure? Let me hear the pressure. I have deadlines on me all of the time. What place. is the deadline? Give me an example. I have deadlines every single Christmas. I have to get my catalog out. I'm working on my catalog right now. What is the catalog? The Jackie catalog. products? Yeah. So let's say you use last year's catalog. Would it be so horrible? Let's say what? the Jackie. Let's say the Jackie catalog. Let's say the. Let's say the Jackie. Defies logic. Let's say the Jackie catalog didn't come out. Would that really? be detrimental to your bottom line? Let's say 
say that your radio show didn't go on, would the world fall apart, Howard? No. No, it would not. No. My no. world would fall apart. Everybody, I wouldn't be able, everybody is doing I wouldn't, what no, no, they the are difference doing. is my world would fall apart because I wouldn't be able to make a living. Your world wouldn't. It wouldn't affect your bottom line at all. Jackie makes the money from... Well, that's not my problem. You've got to be kidding. I work my ass off, and I was working but my why? ass off before Jackie started working with you. What? Why? Yeah, there's no point. Jackie's bringing home the bacon from the radio show and from his club appearances. You know what? You know what? You're right. I could be sitting around doing nothing, Howard, but I don't. And no, I I, but I'm just saying, you can't say you're under the same pressure Jackie's under. Jackie's making the money. He's making I the money. I have more of a pressure-filled job, yes. You do? Yes. <laughs> All right. What's, what's, what exactly is Jackie's pressure? What exactly is your pressure? My pressure is if I don't get ratings, I get ratings every day. Right. My ratings go down, I get fired. I get fired. I actually make, I actually make money. Like my wife's in business. She doesn't make any money. Oh, do I make any money? So I don't make any money. Not really. Jackie mail, pays you. A mail order business makes no money. You help Jackie out. What? You help Jackie out. He's your husband. I run the business. Jackie doesn't Let me run ask the you business something. at all. If you had to go to work for someone else right now. Yeah. Okay. Mailing packages. How I much have, do you think I, they I, pay you? I have managed my business All right. for okay. many, many years. Yeah, you mean, you mean the Jackie business? The Jackie business. Right. I'm saying if you had to go do the same business for someone else, how much do you think they'd pay you? $15 an hour? Name F F F me. No, no, no. no wait no, a second. No, what? I'm asking. You think I'm worth $15 an hour? I don't know what you do. I'm not there. You know what? You don't know what I do, Howard. That's right. So stop making assumptions. I'm, listen. No, I'm not worth fifteen dollars an hour. I could I could manage probably a large company. You think you could? Yes, I could. Absolutely. I managed a recording studio exactly. before I worked with Jackie, <laughs> and I managed a printing store before that. I'm I'm a manager. A printing store? Yeah. How much did you get for that? I was young, Howard. What do you mean? How much? Oh, did you get so I'm I'm trying to establish a a history of earnings. Oh, so okay. So if I stayed at the recording studio, go ahead. And I've been at the recording studio for. The past eighteen years. All right. How much would I be making? I'm asking you. I don't know. I don't know. How would I know? I don't work at a recording studio. You did. How much did you make when you worked there? And I'll figure it out. And I'll give you a. You know what? This is this is pointless. I, oh. I have been working my whole life. I don't know exactly how much I would be making. All right. Let me guess. But, but I draw I've a certain it, amount of money out you of my get company it? now. See, I and see. I, and I I'm see, working on my record. You know what? I see you getting insulted. That's ridiculous. Why can't we have a discussion about what you would be worth on the open market? Because you called to insult me, Howard. All right, okay, okay. You know what? And I'm spending a lot of money on my record. Hey, I promote Howard, the record. Great record. I promote the record. Who else promotes it? I'm not. I don't want you to promote it. I didn't ask you. I'm to promote promoting it. it. I don't care what you say. I I'm am promoting. asking you to promote the bottom line and Dan Hicks tomorrow night at Clearwater, but I am not asking you to promote my record. <laughs> no, that's different. <laughs> What if I don't want to promote the bottom line in Dan Hicks tomorrow night? <laughs> nah, this is way too personal. I know she. I can't have this. I can't have this discussion with my wife. Yeah, I know. All right, no, uh, Nancy. Let me apologize. Let me apologize. Excuse me. I'm not, I'm not oh, I do this to my wife. I do this to my wife. Exactly. I don't know what your situation is. Exactly. Exactly. Let me just apologize right now. You absolutely work as hard as I do, and you have as much pressure as I do. No, no. I want to say something. She made me see her point, and I want to say something. I wish. I wish. I wish no, because let me tell you something. And this You're is not true of Nancy. Her. This is not true of Nancy. True of some other women. <laughs> they think because they sit at home and help you mail some, uh, let's say, you do a few things around the house, that they have some sort of stake in this. I let me tell you something. That's why men die twenty I years before run, women. I run a business, Howard. You know what? It, I sound yes, like a, I, know I you sound do. like a freaking I, maniac. No, you don't. You sound trying, absolutely trying correct. Trying to defend my job. Well, everybody has. You their won't job have a, you, you, see, you won't have a discussion with me about it because I see you get too upset. But I would love to. Ha I would love to have this discussion with you if you could handle it. <laughs> I don't think you could. I no, not not the not, not no. your approach. No, I know that. I know. Okay, everybody needs to have self worth. I understand. That's so that, you're entitled that, to that's that. That's what this is about. Okay. Well, it is. I mean, you want to feel, you know, like you're part of the working world. I understand that. Howard, I am part no, of the No, you want to feel relevant. I understand. A lot of people do. Listen, what can I tell you? You know, maybe this is just all about your insecurity. Of Howard. course it is. It's all about mine. Right. I'm a better man. Yeah, well. Yeah, I don't do much. Listen. I didn't. I, no, you've never been attacked for not doing much. No, because I, I work my balls off. So do I. Of course. 
Let's take some calls for Nancy. You, you can't hard. handle the truth, though. Let me take some calls. Let's see how people are reacting to this. She's Mike, like, go ahead. You're on with Nancy Sirianni Martling, who will be appearing at the bottom line tonight. Hi, Howard. Can Hi. You please get Nancy off the air. <laughs> oh. Why? She's so annoying. She doesn't do anything at all. How do you oh. know? How do you if know, sir? If it weren't for Jackie, she would be nothing. Of course. Maybe if it weren't for me, he'd be nothing. Perhaps. You really believe that? No. I absolutely believe that. If she weren't with Jackie, she would be just another one of, as you put it, another Yenta sitting at home doing nothing. Why you driving her I would, I home? would never oh, look in at my Jackie life. standing up for his woman. I, I would never that. in my life be a Yenta <laughs> sitting at home doing nothing. Right. Never. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, Joe, go ahead. This is uh, Nancy Sirianni Martley, who will be appearing at the bottom line tonight. Yeah. Howard, I love yeah. you, man. Right. Please stop apologizing to the bitch. Oh, all no. you that's people, not fair. That's not fair. That's all you horrible. people out there talking about Howard like this, all you Bobby Knights, you better not say it around me because I'll attack you. He's my hero. <laughs> you understand? So keep your comments low. Thank you. Keep Thank you. <laughs> this guy's obviously bitter. Come on, Mike, give us an intelligent comment yeah. to Nancy Sirianni Martley. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I tell you what, Jackie, I got a good investment for you, a concrete submarine, because oh. you're throwing your money down a pit with this broad. <laughs> oh, Let me I tell don't. you, uh, Bill Gates is thinking of retiring, too. You can manage his company, maybe. <laughs> I tell you what, I used to manage a bagel shop with four people. It's probably better in the business you do, mailing out packages. Oh, let me tell you something. People who manage a business, yeah, who really have uh, their ass on the line, most people go under. Where'd you get her MBA from, Harvard? Thank you. The All right. Well, listen, obviously there's a lot of bitterness in the air. You know what? what? You see, you get upset. You can't handle this discussion. I, I'm handling it fine, Howard. It's just, you know. I, know. I know you get upset. So what's the schedule today? What time will you begin your working day? What is on? Uh... What, which 18 hours are you working? Yeah, at? which 18 hours? Uh, I have, I will be at my desk at 9 o'clock. All right, and what and will I, go on? And I will be playing until midnight. Right. And what will happen at 9 o'clock? Will you begin sending out uh, Jackie CDs? Uh, that's a fair question. I want to know what goes on. <laughs> I mean, I think that's fair, right, Jack? Okay. Do you, do you really want to know? Yes. Do you want to know how a mail order business works? Yes. Oh, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> Why? I want to know. I don't send out packages. There's, there's lots of there's, young entrepreneurs there's, out there's there. A, there's a company that is a fulfillment house that sends out. Sends so out then what do you have to do? I deal with the fulfillment house. Right now, today, I'm working on the catalog. Oh, you are? Yes, I you will design the catalog? Yes, I have. To. And write all the copy? Yes. Wow. That will take how long? It's taken me a couple of weeks. I'm probably going to finish today. Oh, that's exciting. Jackie, have you seen it yet? Is there new stuff for the catalog? Mm -hmm. like, oh, what, like, like what? New, new t-shirts? Yeah, there's new t-shirts. Now we're selling Jackie's book, the oh. hardcover book. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. good. There's two new tape, well, a new, a new CD coming out, mm -hmm. my new CD. What a business. Well, definitely is a... A business of our own stuff. But. Terry, you're on with Nancy Sirianni Martling. Hi, I want to know where I can get the CD. See? Thank you. Oh, Nancy CD? Yeah, I like it. You like the CD? Thank you. Well, there you go. <laughs> where can you get that, Nancy? It's not available yet. It's not available yet. <laughs> well, you have a sale But you can see her tonight. It'll, you can it'll see be her available tonight. very, very soon. It's going to be out November 1st. Right. Is it going to be in, like, the warehouse? Uh, we're trying for distribution, but so far it's going to be a uh, release on the web. Oh, okay. Available oh, on, the, on the internet, on like the with all, these, all the MP3 companies. You know. That's fascinating. Steve, you're on the air. Hi, Howard. Yeah. Um, I emailed Jackie at Joe Glam in July for a catalog, and she works 18 hours a day. I still haven't received it. That would be two months ago. Uh, yeah, well, she works 18 hours well, a day. Well, I guess she might have to get fired Yeah. because there's I, a lot of pressure on her. In fact, it was before Kennedy died. So really? No, Nancy, how do you explain this? Is someone I never got the request from Jackie, that's all I can say. Right. You feel it's Jackie's fault. <laughs> well, who do you email? Who do you email? Right. I don't send out the catalogs either. What is it, Paul? You have a question. Well, so, I understand. All right, well, listen, good luck with the gig tonight. Yeah, thanks. And good luck with the high-pressure gig. <laughs> and, uh, Good luck with uh, Dan Hicks and his hot legs. Now, will will she knock off from the business to devote herself you know, to the music? You know what? This, just uh, I... curse. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. You know, because that's Where's tough. Where's money, Robin? You know, I've got it for you. The fact is, for me, I go to work every day, and I work very, very hard, and have been doing it for a long time. And the more you defend yourself, 
You sound like an idiot. No, I don't. And I, and I, no, I'm saying me. I'm saying me. Oh. But you don't know. No, you work hard, but what I'm trying I to explain to you is every day, if, I, I, if Jackie was half a man and he could talk for himself because he's a pussy whip, why don't you go home, he would say, I, I talk to my wife like this. And let me tell you, I haven't had sex in a long time. It cost me a lot. It haunts me. Let me tell you something. I'm going to yeah. bang your head against the wall some more. Let me tell you something. Yeah. What? And I'm speak and I know Jackie loves when I say this. Mr. Big Shot. Okay, whatever. <laughs> full of crap. All right, I'm full of crap. All right, all right. Worm. Your wife understands you defended her. Worm. All right. <laughs> and I'm just trying to have a discussion. Yeah, you sure I probably know exactly what what Jackie would rather be. Uh, Jackie loves the fact that I run our business. I mean, but... Jackie, you know, you, you know, well, all right, you know, okay, I, I got to go. See, you're sometimes me. I yeah, exactly. Like... I don't. I don't want to get into it. You're the wife of somebody I work with. I don't want to want to get into it. All right. You know, See you. Right? Forty-five minutes later. See you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. There you go. Now, these, these women all think they're working. Uh, they're turned to a delusion. Now let's call Fred's wife. <laughs> I'm not doing that. What do you think? She's another crazy? one. What do you think? What do you, listen, she's another one. And Fred, But Fred don't fight it. He knows. Yeah, leave it alone. Yeah, well, Fred's all his clothes. You know? <laughs> Fred's wife decides to open up a used clothing store right. and takes all of Fred's clothing out of his closet and starts selling it. <laughs> She's she's doing a great service to Fred. I bought no new clothing. Yeah, and Fred's got to pay for all this. Has she started seeing a profit on that business yet? Yes, yeah, she is. She is. Yeah, oh, thank God for actually, that. She's actually doing well. Yeah. Poor Jackie. He's got to keep recycling his own money. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's got him bamboozled too. I don't know what happens out there. No, oh, I do. I've been out there. I go out there. So you go to watch. I go to watch. I well, I just, come with me sometimes. I just know. I just know. <laughs> I've seen the changes in Jackie. Jackie's not the guy we started working with. Oh no, he's not. We all are. Mm -mm. Jackie's he's downtrodden. Da Jackie, Jackie's Jackie been beaten. Used to be a man. <laughs> yeah, Jackie used to be the most fun. He's beaten. Robin used to be a lunatic. <laughs> he's a beaten man. Jackie used to be up for anything. Now it's like, oh, yeah, I can't go. Oh, I got a call. <laughs> <laughs> Good man, old uh, man, wrinkly, who just happens to be enjoying himself, and you two are miserable. Uh, Let's discuss that. All right. Uh, I hate my life. My uh, life sucks. Every second of every day, I want to die. This stinks. Everything sucks. Look at Jackie. He's miserable. I didn't say you're miserable. We just said you've changed. Just go home and stare at your dog. Okay. I can. I got to work. Support you. <laughs> keep that mail keep order that, Keep that mail order business <laughs> going. Me. Jackie's always said people order his stuff. They order it because they listen to this show. Support me. Sitting there ripping off the listeners with those T-shirts. <laughs> Good I Lord. I can't believe there's new stuff. Yeah, there's new <laughs> stuff. There's, 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 I thought they made all the garbage they could possibly oh, make. Oh, dear. Garbage. The Christmas catalog. Why 2K, Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, how much more garbage Brilliant, can you Jackie. sell my audience? You ready for the millennium? Yeah, I got, uh, I got a mug. <laughs> I got, a, got, a, got a CD. I got a get your year 2000 T-shirt. Jackie, big Jackie T-shirt. <laughs> Jackie jacket. Here's your Y2K. Jackie, Jackie cassettes. Jackie. Jackie, everything. The whole world is Jackie. It's fun stuff. All Jackie, all the time. Mm. Focus. Right. Raincoats. Yeah. Get your Jackie blanket. Look at that woman thinks she's under the same pressure that someone with a real job is under. More pressure. She's got to answer to Jackie. More pressure. Jackie loves her. He's not going to. Jackie gonna... writes a few jokes and then he right. goes home. Right. Yeah, Jackie doesn't do much. Jackie's not under any pressure. No. Jackie doesn't really Jackie do anything. Jackie has it easy. Yeah. He comes home, he has the rest of the day free. Don't you love that one, Jack? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm crazy. Yeah, wait till the microphone goes off. He'll start telling me how right I am. Wait, you'll see. Yeah. She has never accused me of that, ever. I just heard it on the air. Jackie has Jackie it easy. <laughs> Jackie, Jackie's so deaf now, he can't hear what she just said. And you sit there like a big pussy and take it. Waiting to defend her. Right. You're such a dope. <laughs> Jackie has no pressure. No, nope. she has all the pressure. You heard. Then she'll tell that to the judge. What judge all right. All right, we got to take a break. What judge is that? Whatever judge you two go to. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a break and. Uh... <laughs> I'm a happy man. I love it.
this. I love my life. Shut up, uh, my life. <laughs> No, I just love. No, my, my my wife doesn't say to me that I that I she my wife knows I'm the one out there working. No, hey, f you. Now you're off. Now you're now you're down and out. You use the f word. I believe you. What the hell's wrong with you? What are you crazy? You're trying to ruin everything, aren't you? You want to close She's down? Added, that the, I had the button on him. You want to close down mine. that mail order business? What is wrong with him, Tom? My microphone was off just like yours. It was on. It wasn't on. I swear it to God, it was on. on. Your, your microphone was not off. Yeah. It was on. I know. What? <laughs> he was at 10 and I was at 1 and I was trying to talk. Get out of here. You it was on just as much as it is now. I'll I'll use the F word. I've got pressure, Tom. <laughs> you want that mail order business to close down? I'm keep old, yelling out I'm that old word. And now I'm deaf. You yeah. keep yelling out that too. word. The mail order business will close. Hmm. I've been here since 1983, and that's yes. the first time I've ever said that word. That's okay. not true. No. Yeah, look at him lie. He's a liar. Oh, I thought it was the first time. <laughs> Maybe the first time you said it sober. <laughs> you should get a money-making business like Fred's wife. Yeah. All women out there. <laughs> hey, can I give my wife's art show a plug? What is your wife doing? Uh, she's a, you know, a very good watercolor artist, in fact. Is Does she work uh, as hard as you? No. She works hard. Yeah. You're not as hard as you. Nobody works as hard as Tom. But she's got a show at the Large Battle Library now. Now, really? yeah, you know, it wouldn't be hard to work as hard yeah. as Tom. Come on. Even Tom admits Nancy works harder than him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At least Nancy's not out playing golf. I don't lift a finger. Right. Compared. No, you know, th these wives, they sit at home, they go get their nails done, they get their hairs, whatever they want to do, and then they tell you they work hard. That's like, you're kidding me.